<laughs> Where have you changed the most from previous school to now being an Oregon head in um, year two? I think I've changed the most, you know, off the field, like in the locker room, like as a teammate and as a leader. I don't have to go out there and win it by myself. I, I have a whole team that, that's out here, and, you know, they, they're going to have my back, and it's easy to play like that. We have this old photo of you on signing day in high school. You're signing your letter of intent, and you're about to pursue this dream that you just described. What if I had paused that day and I said, you know what? I'm going to play college football for five years. But in your final year, you choose to come back to a school that happens to be as far away from Auburn as you could get. You're also going to be married and living in this place called Eugene, Oregon. What do you think that kid signed that letter of intent would have said? You know, in a way, without knowing the future, he would have probably looked at what didn't go right. Probably would have been a little, like, stunned and taken back for a second. And he would have probably been a little frustrated himself, not knowing what was on the other side of it. Not knowing the, the good and the, and the positive that came from that decision. I mean, there's so much to unfold there. college football dream was simply to play quarterback at Auburn and beat Alabama and win a national championship. I kick better than most Alabama kickers. Growing up, that's all I wanted to do. My dad got to do it, so that's kind of like gave me perspectives that, you know, maybe I could do it. Yes! Yes! I started playing football, things kind of fell in, in line and you know, I had an opportunity to go and play there. I had this goal, I had this dream my whole entire life. I want to go pursue it and see what I can do. Man, we are set up for the tastiest matchup on the menu of the opening weekend in Arlington, Texas, Auburn and Oregon. Patrick Nix, former Auburn quarterback, brings out his son and gets a little emotional. This is nice. And starting a quarterback for my Auburn Tigers, number 10, my son, Bo Nix. Patrick coached him in high school. They won a couple of the state championships in Sun Valley. Bo has been, as you said, waiting for this his entire life. And imagining Auburn plays, I think since he's about a sixth grade. There were a lot of great highs. Going back, seeing you're, you know, walking into the stadium, walking in with people you went to Auburn with 20 years ago. Ducks. accepted me for who I was. Um, they didn't really make any, um, you know, guesses of, of what I was like before. And I was just able to come in with a new start and um, 
you know, I loved every single one of them, and, and I didn't really um, have a hard time with anybody, and it was just a, a very smooth and easy transition. opportunity to, to be myself again and, and to get out of the um, you know the spy you're you're playing because your dad played here or you're, you're only doing it because you're an Auburn fan or this or that but now I can just go do it because I love playing quarterback. Next play, ready to chuck it down the field. Boom next to the end zone, drop down for You want to be you know in the foxhole together and I think you're going to be a better team when you are and, and Bo knew that it wasn't us him or you know, it wasn't his individual responsibility for us to be a great team. You know, he's a part of the process, right? He's a piece of the puzzle. Bo Nix has got Franklin in the end zone, and he connects Troy Franklin. I love being around a group of guys. And I love being around my teammates. And leading a group out there with a common goal and, and go out on a mission and, and, and win. We were fortunate to do a lot of that last year and um, came up short in some other times. And, and so now, another reason you want to come back just to go have another try at it and uh, learn from what you did wrong, uh, learn from what you did right, and go change it.